All right, let's see how it goes. This is uh, Daryl D Fishman 76 channel. Uh, we're playing around with the GoPro today since my other cameras decided to die out on me. Triple stack box. We're gonna see what it's going on. If we have to reduce them, we will move some frames around to kind of compact the hive down itself. That way, the, the bees don't have so much they have to defend and have a better chance of surviving through the winter. So, let's crack the top on this thing and see what we got. Give him a little bit of smoke. I got to figure out what I did with my hive. We still got some bees flying around from the other hive that were super pee, peed off. Matter of fact, they followed me to the trick and was uh, bouncing off my camera. So honeybees ain't always, or are, it's not always, you know, very docile. Insects, sometimes they can get a little fired up. Got bees in the top, but not very many. It's always good to check to see what the weight of the hive is. It's got pretty good weight to it. I'm just not sure if the bees have moved all the way up to the top yet. Not very much weight there, for sure. Now you can see, right here is where all of our bees are at. It's right in here. This right here is what we call burr comb. And it's this comb that they build in between the, uh, the space between the two boxes. smoke these a little bit see what the bottom of the box looks like bottom hive looks like if I can get it apart they really got it stuck together for sure so we got lots of bees down here too. Now I'm gonna check these frames down here just to see. If we've got anything down here. Are these bees still in this bottom box? Or are they just using it as a pathway to get from, uh, from the bottom of the hive? Trying to figure out the best way to pop this frame out. I thought it would come out pretty easy because you got a little bit of wood in there. That's 
as you can see, there's a little bit of nectar on that frame right up top. But nothing else. happy today for sure. I think some of these bees are out of another hive too. So what we're gonna do you're still using this box to some extent. As far as a little bit of nectar and pollen store. There's no brood or anything else. I would probably more say that it's using that uh, bottom box as a, a way through. Right here they got capped honey. And this other box, I think they got a little bit of capped honey on that too. I would like to see some brood. But as pissy as these bees are being today, it might be better just to leave them alone. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take this box off because I don't really think they're using it that much. I'm gonna put that box back on. Pretty much all I'm going to do is do away with the bottom box. Because like I said, I think you're pretty much just using it to get to the top or the box above it. Now what I'll do with this box is I'll uh, shake the bees out of it into the other half and take this box away from it. We might not have another warm day like today. We might not be able to do some back down if we need to. And here they'll have all this extra space just to uh, try to get them. And 
the reason why I'm shaking these bees in this box, that way I know they're going to go back in that box and they won't try to stay in here and have a chance to freeze or not. It's getting too cold. Now, of course, I won't be able to get them all out of here. But I'll get a large majority of them out. And once these bees calm down, they'll go back in that hive that they come out of. We're going to put the top back on it. Button it back down. And let them go about the little merry way. So there you go. I don't know y'all can probably hear it, but let's come over here and I'll show you what we got. See all the bees flying around? That box right there is the one I just uh, took off and we dropped it back down to a single story. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to go to the house with you and give these bees time to calm down just a little bit. Uh, one thing you don't want to do this time of year is to start a robin frenzy because what it can do is uh, start robbing out a small hive or a weaker hive and uh, start causing issues that way so there we go hope y'all enjoyed the video hope the uh, sounds halfway decent in it uh, I know we got a lot of bees flying around and a little bit of wind too so hope y'all enjoyed the video if you got any questions leave them in the comments below and as always